Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup and hair tutorial is a classic Hollywood inspired look and it's perfect for prom and any other events that you have to go to. So the first step is going to be applying some moisturiser to our under eyes and our eyelids just before we apply our primer and I'm using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot for our primer today and the reason why I wanted to moisturise is because the paint pot can be quite drying and it just makes it look a lot smoother when you apply an eye cream underneath it. Next I'm going in with the Zoeva Smoky Eye Palette and I'm using this light pink colour and using this as our transition shade and I'm going to be taking a fluffy blending brush and taking this into our crease. I'm using motions that are going back and forth and just blending this into the crease and going upwards. We're going to be doing a cut crease look so don't worry if any of this goes onto the lid as we're going to fix this later. You just want to consistently keep blending this colour just to make sure that it's nice and blended upwards. Then I'm going to be going in with this warm colour and just applying it into our crease. And what this warm brown will do is it's just going to start to define the crease and make it appear a lot deeper. And we're using the same brush for this and just going back and forth again, just making that very deeper part of our crease look nice and sunk in. And I'm also dragging it outwards to extend our eyes out. Then I'm taking a clean blending brush from Sigma and just going back and forth at the very top of the colour just to make sure that it's nice and buffed out. Then I'm going in with this warm brown and just applying this into the very deepest part of our crease. And this is going to be the darkest crease colour that we use today. And we're going to start to kind of carve out where we want our cut crease to be. So I'm just using this pointed brush to sort of trace out where we want the cut crease to be then we are going to blend that color outwards and just make sure that it blends into the other colors that we applied into the crease I'm using that first brush and I'm just going back in to make sure that it's nice and blended then I'm using a short shader brush and just applying the same soft ochre paint prop from MAC and just using this to carve out the cut crease that we want. So what we're going to be doing is just applying this and just going all along as soon as the lid stops, that is the kind of crease that we want to achieve. You can go for any kind of cut crease, you can go past the lid if you want, but this is the kind of cut crease that I wanted to go for. So it's just sitting where the crease stops. Then I'm going in with the cream colour from that palette and just patting this on top of that paint pot just to make it stay on and also to brighten it as well. Next we're going to be applying a winged eyeliner onto the lid and I'm going to be applying some gel eyeliner and create a nice thin line on the lid and then we're going to start to extend this outwards to the tail of our brow and then what we're going to do is connect all the lines and begin to fill it in. Then once that's done, you just want to slightly thicken it, start thin and then gradually thicken the line. That way you don't make any mistakes and it's just a lot easier to replicate it on the other eye as well. Next, I'm going to be curling my eyelashes with an eyelash curler and I'm going to be applying some mascara onto our lashes to prepare them for the false lashes. Of course, this is recommended to apply some false lashes just because it adds drama to the look that your natural lashes just can't do. Um, but of course, you can wear your natural lashes if you feel more comfortable. My eyebrow tutorial is in the down bar, so definitely check that out if you want to see how I do my eyebrows. Next, I'm going to be applying some moisturiser to my skin just to make sure that my skin looks nice and moisturised under our foundation and I'm using the Vitamin E moisturiser from The Body Shop and I just absolutely love this because it has a nice matte feeling which means that it can double up as our primer as well. Next, I'm going to be doing my foundation and I'm mixing my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation with some Argan Oil. I've been loving to do this recently because I just feel this gives me the most flawless coverage um, that I can achieve on my skin. So of course, go with whatever foundation you would like as this is a look that is you know meant to have a nice flawless skin go with whatever full coverage foundation you are most comfortable with i'm just buffing that in with my real techniques miracle sponge and i'm also using my sigma 3d hd kabuki concealer brush it is the best thing for just trying to get into like the little bits that you can't reach with a sponge or a larger brush it's amazing Next, I'm just applying a little bit more coverage and just going over the areas that I feel need a bit more coverage. 
Then I'm using some concealer under my eyes to brighten and highlight under the eyes. I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard and the Dream Lumi Touch Concealer from Maybelline. I'm also using the sponge to help blend that in and it just creates a really nice flawless effect. And I'm using that 3D HD concealer brush again from Sigma and this is so good to clean up anywhere where you really can't reach. Next I'm going to be baking my under eyes using a loose powder and what this does is it helps you set the under eyes. I've applied all that powder and allowed it to sit for about 5 minutes and then I'm going to dust it away and then I'm also applying some onto my forehead to make sure there is no shine. I'm going with a setting brush from Real Techniques to buff away the excess powder and it just leaves a really nice brightened effect. Next I'm going to be bronzing my skin with the Bobbi Brown Bronzer in Golden Light and I'm just going to be using a really big fluffy brush just to bronze the perimeter of my skin and then we're going to be going in with a darker matte bronzer just to apply into the hollows of our cheeks to create more of a contoured chiseled effect onto our cheeks. I'm taking the Bahama Mama Bronzer and using a contouring brush from Real Techniques and just applying this into the hollows of our cheeks. Next I'm going to be applying some blusher, I'm taking a NARS blusher which is this really nice pretty golden colour and just applying it onto my cheeks and rolling it backwards. This is just going to give us a subtle glow without looking too pink. Then I'm applying a highlighter to the tops of my cheekbones just to give me a nice subtle glow. Then I'm going to be taking a red lip liner and going along my lip line to create a nice chiseled lip line. We want to make sure that our lip line looks nice and, you know, defined and straight. We don't want it to look too faded, so you want to make sure that you create a really nice straight line with this. By the way, I'm sorry my camera went a bit out of focus at this point, so sorry for that. Then I'm going in with a slightly darker lip liner and just applying this to the outer parts of our lip just to create more definition within the lip. Then I'm applying my lipstick, I'm using Gerard Cosmetics Fire Engine Lipstick and this is just the perfect red hue and I'm just applying this all over. You can leave it at this step or you can apply a gloss, I wanted to apply a gloss so of course it is completely optional. I'm using Candy Apple Gloss also from Gerard Cosmetics. If you do want a discount for their products then check the description box along with a lot of other discount codes that I have with various brands. Next we're going to get started on our hair and I had previously straightened my hair the night before as you guys know I have very curly hair so I'm just brushing it through to get out all the tangles and I'm using my tangle teaser for that and you just want to make sure that all the tangles are out so that it's ready to curl. Then I'm applying one track of extensions. I like to clip in my extensions as I go so um, you can do it however way you feel most comfortable. And I'm going to start to curl my hair with my Bellamy 6-in-1 curler and I'm using the 25mm barrel. And this is quite a wide barrel because we want to create a nice sort of wavy effect. The secret to this curl is that you want to curl towards your face. As you can see, I've kind of sped it up because obviously I want you guys to see it as much as possible. I start to curl towards my face so I'm curling inwards every single time whereas usually what I would tend to do is curl outwards and this just kind of gives us the curls that come towards our face and it just looks really nice and classic so as you can see I'm curling towards my face it's the same for the other side whatever side you're on you want to curl towards your face Every section is the same. This look is literally one of the easiest hair looks I've ever had to do. You just literally do the same thing over and over again, just curling each curl towards your face.
and then when you get to the top section of your hair you want to section your hair in a side parting so I'm just using a little clip just to help me get a nice straight parting And then once I have done that, I just begin to do exactly the same thing as we've been doing throughout the whole of the tutorial, and again, just curling towards the face. Okay, so once I'm done, I've just applied a little bit of argan oil to my hands and just running it through my hair to create a nice shine. And this just makes the hair look nice and healthy. And then I'm gonna brush all of that through to create a nice sleek wave. And as you can see, it all just kind of goes with each other and it just creates this really nice sleek kind of soft wave within the hair. So it just creates the most gorgeous look. And then I'm just gonna start to spray my hair, get all these stray hairs down and it just creates extra shine as well. So that's just the finishing touch on the look. Okay guys, so this is the end of this tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and comment any other suggestions that you'd like for prom. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and you found it helpful and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.